Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing great. In this video, I'm going to be doing a clean with me in the kitchen and focusing a lot on making it smell really fresh and clean in here. Um, I'm really excited to be partnering with Lavoie for this video. This is an air purifier and so I'm going to turn this on as I get started to clean in the kitchen. I like We like to have all kinds of foods like Thai food and Indian food and if you cook these foods at home, you know how these smells can just linger and it doesn't smell good post eating. So I don't want these smells, these fragrances hanging around in my kitchen. And so um, the air purifier, I've just been amazed at how quickly it clears all of that smell out. So I'm showing you my super messy kitchen. Um, my husband has been sick and my toddler has been sick. So things just got a little crazy in here and I'm just really excited to go ahead and get things back in order and um, I'm gonna be giving you some other tips on what I do to keep things fresh in here especially consider what considering what Ben and I like to eat which is just really strong aromatic foods that just tend to stick around in the house so um, actually that was a kind of a deterrent from us cooking Indian food which we both love it was that it the smells can just stick around having these solutions really have just like opened up our horizons as far as what we cook so now you may be noticing that i look a little different if you haven't seen an announcement video i am expecting baby number two so no i didn't eat too much pad thai that is a baby bump so our kitchen sometimes can become kind of a catch-all it's where we do a lot of our life <laughs> we were eating in here and then there's also other stuff going on in here, packages being opened, mail being sorted. So it can easily get junked up with boxes and packing stuff and stuff like that. So while taking out the recycling, I found some beautiful fragrant gardenias. They smell so good and fresh. Had to bring a couple in. So for cleaning uh, every day, I use just water in my Norwex microfiber cloths because that actually disinfects without any product. So there's not really a sense to using those things. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use later to kind of bring in a fresh scent. So in the summer, I really like this citrusy dish soap by 365, which you can get at Whole Foods or you can buy off of Amazon. Just something about citrus in the summer. Just, I don't know, so fresh. So I like to keep all of my um, dishwashing tools kind of on this little tray. I like using trays to kind of organize things that I need to be left out and it still looks neat you know put together when you can just kind of collect it all on the tray and um, I wanted a pretty soap dispenser because it's out all the time I just want it to look nice and so it makes me happy to see all my tools there and looking nice so I'm really excited to share with you this tip for cleaning your sink. On the left hand side, I had cleaned this months ago using this tip and I didn't clean the other side because I wanted to show you 
uh, before and after. So anyway, you're going to need some coconut oil, some baking soda, some paper towels, and then uh, some citrus fruit if you have any left over from any kind of recipe. So the first thing you're going to do is just shake on this baking soda everywhere on the sink. And this is going to work as an abrasion. It also can remove stains and deodorize. And then you're going to take a paper towel and you are going to dip it in some coconut oil. And what we're going to do with this is we are going to rub this on our sink with the baking soda. And it is going to work out any kind of grime, anything nasty, it's going to get rid of some um, some stains, maybe something that regular soap is not getting, getting out. So you're just gonna give it a good scrub all the way around. So I actually did this twice because it kind of had layers of grime, which is gross. But anyway, so what you're seeing now is after having done this process two times, that I'd spare you the watch time. Now I'm just going to use a brush and get, you know, just in the crevices and clean it all out because a lot of stuff can collect in there. And after you rinse, you're going to find that there is still some oil on the sink, which is good um, because we are going to buff that into the sink and that is going to actually sort of repel future grime and stains from sticking to the sink. So here it is, nice and shiny. And at this point, we are going to freshen up our sink disposal. So I'm going to be using some leftover citrus fruit, of course, removing the stickers because I don't want that getting stuck in, in there. So. I don't really feel comfortable putting a whole half of a lemon in there, so I'm gonna just cut it up into quarters and that should work just fine. So this is an easy and inexpensive way to freshen up the disposal and I also like that it's a way to use something that would otherwise just be thrown in the trash. And if you have any leftover citrus fruit, you can certainly put it in a bag, you can keep it in your fridge or in the freezer for when you are doing this the next time. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna kind of speed through this since you already seen the process. We're just gonna wipe up the rest of the sink and freshen it up. And I'd like to give a shout out to the Farmhouse Movement Magazine, which is where I learned this method of cleaning my sink. Before I was using some harsh chemicals, I had to wear gloves in order to use. So it's nice to find a natural way, no gloves necessary to clean the sink. And uh, if you want to learn more about the Farmhouse Movement magazine, you will find some information in the description box below because I am a partner with that wonderful magazine. So I mentioned that I use Norwex cloths, which don't require any product to clean, and so there's not really a nice fresh scent that you would get with a product. So I actually do use a product probably once a week uh, to put over my countertops. It's this Pear Blossom Agave Spray by Caltria. It's a countertop spray, and it smells amazing, so fresh, and the scent really lingers for a long time so I like to go over this after I've already cleaned it with my Norwex cloth to get the grime off um, and then this is just basically to put a fresh scent on everything so I just like to just go around and pretty much everywhere and <laughs> spray this on so and it's a little more on the natural side as well which I'm really wanting to be a toxin free home as much as possible I go back and forth when it comes to sweeping. Sometimes I use my battery powered vacuum that's designed for hard floor and carpet. And then sometimes I just 
go and grab my old broom and dustpan and uh, and stick with that. So another way I like to freshen up in the kitchen is with essential oils. I use a mop that allows me to add my own cleaner. So I, a lot of times I use water and vinegar and maybe some lemon essential oils or I will use peppermint because that's good for repelling all kinds of pests supposedly. And then sometimes I also will diffuse oils uh, before I go to bed and it can just run uh, throughout the night or whenever it runs out to wake up to a fresh kitchen and that works really well. So when I was filming this, I thought for sure I was going to run my air purifier all night to get the smells out, but by the time I finished cleaning, the smell was gone and it smells so fresh in here. So I'm very happy with this. Check out the Prime Day event going on for Lavoie and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!